Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and praise the Lord. Welcome to my prayer closet. I'm very happy that you clicked the link today. Now, if you click this link, that means you read the title. And today we are going to be praying for us to have the heart to love our enemies. And I'll explain more about that in just a moment. Now, if it is your first time here, again, I welcome you here on this channel. We pray, we study God's word, and we provide tips to help you live your life victoriously. Our Bible studies are held on the first day of the month at 6.33 a.m. So I personally welcome you to just log on on August 1, which is coming up, or if you're hearing this after August 1, log on September 1, October 1. I'll keep doing it on the first day of the month until the Lord tells me differently, okay? Um, so if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for each and every one of my subscriber sisters. I do pray for y'all every day, and um, if you have prayer requests, put them below, and I'll, I'll be praying for you, okay? Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, um, we're going to love our enemies. Now, that is unbelievably difficult, but this is love week, so to speak, love prayer week on this channel, and we've been praying about different themes surrounding love all week long. In fact, Click the links below so you can see more prayers about love if that's an area that you're interested in. I'm going to keep this really, really simple. Um, I'm going to just give you what the word of God says about this. And then I'm going to pray Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. Okay, and I'm going to read uh, from the ESV. Okay. Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. I'm going to start in 43. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven. I'll continue. For he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good. And sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? I ended in verse 48, ladies. There's not much commentary here on this. It is clear. Anybody can love people who love them, essentially. Anybody can love the neighbor who adores them. It's easy for, for, for a person to love the people who, who like them. But what about loving your enemies? Jesus is saying, I'm commanding you. Don't hate them. You love them. Again, as I prayed on Monday, when it comes to loving when it's hard, you don't have to be in an intimate relationship with your enemy. But the hatred that you might have in your heart or the resentment you may have in your heart, it's not harming them. I'm sorry to say, sisters, it's harming you. Many years ago, I heard Joyce Meyer say this. Um, if you walk in unforgiveness or hate towards someone, and I'm paraphrasing here, if you do that, it's like uh, you taking poison and expecting someone else to die. Yeah, I believe I'm paraphrasing that correctly. Jesus has called us to be different. And being different is perfectly fine. Okay? 
Ask the Holy Spirit to help you love your enemies, to love them. Don't hate anyone. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I'm so grateful for these precious sisters who have chosen to to join me in prayer today and this week about love. Father, love can be such an abstract topic, Father, but we know your, your word says the greatest commandment is to love. The greatest commandment isn't to prosper. The greatest commandment isn't to get ahead. The greatest commandment is to love. And so, Father, though it be hard and hurtful, we're choosing to love. I pray that you would help my sisters who are listening to the sound of my voice, my sisters who have been hurt by people, my sisters who have been betrayed by people, my sisters who have been mistreated by people, who have become their enemies. Father, give them a heart. Give them the will to love. As we saw in Matthew 5, Jesus says clearly, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. That's what you said. And so, Father, that's what we're going to do. We're choosing to love those. And Father, we know it pleases you when we love, especially those who've done us wrong. So, Lord Jesus, Wherever these ladies might be struggling with unforgiveness in their heart, I'm asking you to pour your spirit on them in such a way that they begin to love their enemies and have compassion for them, particularly those enemies that are lost and destined for hell. Your word says in 2 Peter, it's not your will for anyone to perish, but all to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So we're going to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute you, Lord. Even if it's hard to do. Help these ladies be wise in their interpersonal relationships. Help these ladies walk wisely and circumspectly, Lord. Knowing, Father God, that you lavish wisdom on us if we need it. And so I plead the blood of Jesus over these precious ladies right now. I thank you that the spirit of Christ is on the inside of them. So they have what they need inside of them to love their enemies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the power to do so. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining me. And while I was praying, um, the Lord placed this on my heart, that there might be someone in your life who is struggling with this. Will you send this prayer to them? And you were wondering, should I send this to them? Well, this is a confirmation. Um, There's someone who has been wronged um, and uh, they need to hear this prayer, okay? Thank you again for joining me and I'll be back tomorrow to close out our love week. Again, I'm grateful for your partnership and ministry. Have a wonderful day.